Oh, I have a I have a personal example here that's that maybe serves to illustrate the point. Perhaps it's a little bit silly. There's a a memory that I have dating back to when I was five years old. And you know, it's one you know you you have a few early memories that are just kind of burned into your mind. We had a family friend who unfortunately passed away about two years ago who who did me a tremendous honor. He he wanted to come visit one more time. I hadn't seen him for years. He came and he was in a wheelchair and um, uh, came to our facility and I gave him a tour. His name was John Demian. John Demian taught my dad the tool and die trade. He was from uh, Elyria, Ohio. And he would come down on the weekends and he would uh, show my dad the tools of the trade and so forth. And then there was a compulsory meeting, or and maybe that's a, not, not the right word. Um, he would, we after the work got done, he'd come over to the house and mom would bake pie. And um, at one of those meetings, as we were eating pie, he pulled out a little bag of English walnuts and explained to me that he has a grove of walnut trees at his house and that if I were to plant these walnuts, trees would grow and walnuts would be born. And, of course, um, I was not unfamiliar with what English walnuts could do when they were clad with chocolate on candy for the holidays, okay? I'm five years old, so I, I, you know, I had that clearly in mind. So, notice, I mean, I, I'm, I'm quoting myself here, but the fact that my husbandry of English walnuts as a five-year-old consisted only of a few walnuts in a planter gifted to me by John Demian, and, and I remember he told me now what you're going to have to do is to put these walnuts in a can of water and change it every day. And I forget now, I think we did that for two weeks or so because you had to soften it up, and then you planted it. So the fact that my husbandry of English walnuts as a five-year-old consisted of only a few walnuts in a planter gifted to me by family friend John Demian did not prevent me from envisioning at that early age a grove of walnut trees with abundant harvest that would enhance pies, cookies, and desserts for the holidays. Somehow, I just, you know, it, it, it all happened at that moment. And I saw trees. <laughs> the walnuts sprouted and the seedlings grew. Actually, only one of them ended up growing that first year. And that tree is still on my... Uh, sister's property and bears walnuts to this day. But the, di the difference is, it was, I think I was 15 or 16 years old by the time this vision turned into a reality. But when I sat there at that table and received the walnuts as a five-year-old, the reality of that vision was authentic and it was there. The fact that I would have to wait for years in order to actually embrace it didn't even occur to me. That's a very different approach to vision than sitting down with a consultant and coming up with a paragraph that you put on a piece of paper. And the reason is I, as a five-year-old, was engaged, and I don't know why the others didn't grow. I mean, I, I don't know if I didn't change the water correctly or didn't plant it correctly. I mean, I don't know. One grew, the tree is still standing today. But it was a future vision that required me to do something immediately, albeit a very simple task, water and a wall. That's authentic.